Brady throws. Moss. Touchdown. A methodical drive put together by the game's best, Tom Brady. Patriots lead by four. These two hooked up a record 23 times during the regular season, and now this to take a fourth quarter Super Bowl lead. Well, Corey Webster was in trouble as soon as he started backpedaling off the line of scrimmage. They doubled Wes Welker on the inside, and they left Corey Webster one-on-one -on, -one on Randy Moss. He had a touchdown returning a kick against New England. Brady. Well, every quarterback dreams of being in this position. The Super Bowl on the line. Down four points, trying to take your team down and win the game. Extra men on the rush as the pass is complete to Toomer. He's got a first down with an 11-yard gain from Eli Manning. And the good thing for the New York Giants is there's still plenty of time. They're going to get the two-minute warning. They still have their they still have all of their timeouts. And that's why you don't see them in any bigger any bigger hurry than what they are right now. Low snap. Manning over the middle too high for Plexico Burris who has only well you know anytime you start throwing the ball over the middle of the field like that a little bit late you know, generally some bad things can happen. Second and ten. Four seconds away from the two minute warning. Manning backpedaling as he throws high and incomplete. Harrison making a play on the ball. Third down and ten. Another low snap. Manning backpedaling completes to Toomer. And it depends on the spot of the catch by Toomer. Here we go. Brandon Jacobs looked like he got it with that last effort with his right arm. And I'm not so sure that if they're not going to measure here you don't call timeout if you're the Giants to preserve some time. A minute 22 left. They do stop the clock. They have not signaled that it's a giant timeout and might carry. But that kept the Giants from having to burn a timeout. They actually put more time back on the clock six seconds. As Manning steps up and is brought down by Adalis Thomas from behind. The ball came out. It was only a matter of time before he was able to do it here. Time almost ran out on him. Second down and five. Manning hit as he let it go. And Asante Samuel came close to a game ending interception. Well, that's about as demonstrative as you're going to see Eli Manning. I mean, it looked like he was expecting. Something else on the outside on that route. I mean, Eli, he's going to get some pressure. You got Rodney Harrison coming off the edge. He floats it up, but I don't know if he thought that Tyree was going to take it a little bit deeper or should have taken it deeper. But they're fortunate that Samuel didn't intercept that one. Pressure from Thomas off the edge. Eli Manning stays on his feet, airs it out down the field. It is caught by Tyree inside the 25 and a timeout taken. Oh my God. This ball is thrown and Tyree just goes up for it like a basketball player. Harrison trying to knock it down. And Eli man I don't know how he got out of there. I thought he was on the ground and and then he came out of the pile and just slings it. 
That's a great catch by David Tyree. And now with 59 seconds left, the Giants needing a touchdown. The ball is at the New England 24. Four man rush, Elon Manning. Adalis Thomas ball, 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 ball. brings down Manning. Thomas coming again. This one flutters up and somehow nearly caught by Tyree, who lost it on his way to the ground. It's third and 11. You know, here on this possession, they've been able to get some pressure on Eli Manning. There's Tyree, and the ball came out after he got hit. You're right, he almost able to make the catch, but, you know, right now, I think it'd be a good time for a screen. As much pressure as what they've been able to get on Eli, they haven't run many screens here tonight. But I know they've got an inside screen. Third down and 11. Manning to the sideline completes. And Steve Smith is out of bounds right at the marker. Now Steve Smith doing a great job of knowing exactly where he was on the field and being able to catch that ball stay in bounds watch where he is there and know exactly where he had to get to to get the first down before going out of bounds and being able to stop the clock. Great play. Manning lobs it. Burris alone. Touchdown New York. Seventeen, fourteen, Giants. Tell you, Joe, you take a look at this route here by Plexico Burris. A great job, Ellis Hobbs in coverage. He starts to the inside just enough to sell the slant, and then he goes to the corner. They call that the slant and go route, sluggo route, and it worked beautifully. Eli Manning puts a little pump fake on him to get him to bite, and then goes to the corner. I tell you. Peyton Manning when Eli Manning talked to him about got any advice for me and Peyton Manning said I think you're beyond me giving you any more advice and that shot of Peyton Manning as much as that win last year for the Colts and him winning his first Super Bowl a year ago I get the feeling he's a little happier tonight than what he might have even been back then. Plexico Burris had been held down all night. As big a reason why the Giants got past the Packers in the NFC Championship game with his 11 catches, 151 yards. Did not have a catch the entire second half, two all night, but none bigger in his career. Moroni on the return. Gets to the 25, and that's all. Zach Diossi, his dad Steve was a starting linebacker for the Giants to get it to the 34 yard line of the Giants. On first down, Gaffney, the intended receiver, incomplete. Aaron Ross was in coverage, 25 seconds left. At stake is the perfect season for second and 10. A rookie. And the Patriots take their first time out with 19 seconds left. Yeah, another rookie for the New York Giants. You think about Steve Smith, Ahmad Bradshaw, and now Jay Alford. He comes right up the middle. You know, they've been rotating these defensive linemen throughout the game, keeping them fresh, bringing in 
Jay Alford, Justin Tuck, OCU Manura, and they have been able to get the pressure on Brady as a result of Keith Spagnolo has done a brilliant job to this point, third and 20. Brady rolls, heaves, Moss downfield, broken up by Webster. Ten seconds left. And Corey Webster's outstanding postseason continues. Yeah, they they move Tom Brady so that he can buy some time to allow Moss to get down the field. And you just run out of arm strength. I mean, as you can tell, Randy Moss, he had a couple steps and he still had some left. I mean, he could have gone after that ball if it was able to get out further in front of him. But you're talking about a 70, 75 yard. Brady steps up throws downfield broken up two seconds left as the Giants take over they run out the clock they put one second back on the scoreboard Bill Belichick is willing to jog out to the middle of the field again one second is remaining on the scoreboard the celebration started and now will stop as Eli Manning in the offense is trying to get everybody off the field. There is one second left on the scoreboard. 